everyone's having a lovely hair day. So today I'm going to share with you my product empties. And I've been sharing these, um, not sharing these, I've been saving these for about a month and a half just to make this video, but I kept forgetting. So um, if you want to see my product empties and what I thought of them, um, keep watching. Okay, so I'm not going into any particular order, but to first start off with, I'm going to talk about the Diva Curl One Condition, and this is 32 ounces. This is the Decadence line, and I really like this line. I actually bought a another bottle. <laughs> um, even though this line is expensive, I am always worried that I'm going to buy another conditioner, a cheaper conditioner, and that I'm not going to like it. Let me just that a little bit <laughs> but I'm worried I'm not going to like it so I just have to stick with this one I'm, I don't know why but um this is for super curly hair I'm gonna read the description off of it it is it says if you have super curly hair that covers a or that creates a lot of extra moisture then this is just for this is what you need for soft frizzy curls and this is just a um, conditioner it's by Diva Curl I'll put the price around here or here and um, it's for super curly hair, as I just said, and it's for um, a lot of moisture. My hair is always very dry, so this just helps um, when I need to wash my hair. And I use this about every wash day. And um, it's just my favorite conditioner, honestly. I've tried, I haven't tried a lot of natural conditioners, but um, I probably will um, in a couple videos um, to, to, for you to see. But, um, I haven't tried a lot of natural conditioners, but this is my favorite conditioner I've tried that is, um, that is natural, and, um, it just gives me a lot of moisture. So, the next is, I'm going to, not gonna lie, this is not completely empty, but this is the As I Am Avocado Shea Co-Wash, and it's for babies and children, but honestly, I, if you guys haven't heard of this, this is the, um, they have a, um, the Azam has a coconut curl coat wash, I believe it's called, and it's like a big container, and it's for, like, adults, and I kind of not like it, but this is just, it, it smells like candy, honestly, and I, I like the smell better, and I like the results better than the coconut curl wash, probably gonna get a bunch of hate methods for saying that, but it's true, um, it's about to here, I'm guessing. Yep, right here, but um, I figured I'd just uh, put this in the, the empties video. So the next I'm going to share with you is a is one of my favorite face washes. Alright, so um, this is one of my favorite face washes and I've tried it a lot, but if you guys haven't known, I have rosacea and very sensitive skin. So what I use on my skin is it needs to be uh, very moisturizing. Um, is not going to irritate me and is just not like with all like harmful ingredients and stuff like witch hazel and that's just one of the ingredients that bothers rosacea which uh, I actually created a toner with um, apple cider vinegar and witch hazel but that's for another video <laughs> and that just bothered my skin and um, for a couple months I was using different products such as the Shea Moisture Rose Hip um, Oil Face Wash and stuff like that and I was using that every single day along with the toner which is why I got like dry spots everywhere and it was just bad so I went back to my um, my simple face wash so before I have the I had those um, the Shea Moisture face wash, I saw a lot of people because I had I thought I had oily skin. So um, so, um actually I didn't, but it was just my face um, reacting to the products that I was using. But um, I thought that I had oily skin, so I used the oil face wash, and I thought it was doing good for my skin. And then I got dry spots all over it. And before this, I actually bought the Simple Moisturizer, the, um, the one with sunscreen, which I'll put on the screen um, above. And then um, I also bought the face wash. God, I'm losing my breath. I also bought the, the, bought the face wash, and that is all. Excuse me. Um, that was all. And I didn't use it because I thought my face didn't like it, but I was only using it for like a week and a half, and I'm a very impatient person, so I was like, I need to go back to something simple and it's not going to bother me. Simple. 
um, that's not going to bother me, and I was just so fed up with this, I was trying to, um, I was trying, um, aloe vera gel, every single thing to heal my skin, even water was irritating my skin at that time, and I was just, I was just fed up with this, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go back to this line, and see how it reacts to my skin, and my face, let me just show you guys, I have no blemishes besides something over here, I'm thinking, it's not showing up on the screen, but I only have like dry skin a little bit over here, but something that I'm going to make a video on in like a couple weeks, it has been helpful with the dryness over here, but um, my skin is kind of clear, it's really clear. So um, after going back to the simple line, I um, my skin cleared along with taking a rosacea meant after um, realizing that I had rosacea and I was diagnosed with it at the dermatologist. I just, um, I just did everything with no complications just so that my face wouldn't get irritated as it was before. So this is the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Moisturizing Facial Wash. And as you can see, I can't really show you because it's not like a clear bottle, but it is empty. Like, like this is empty. I'm, I'm like squeezing it out when I was using it. So, um, I had to buy a new one. And with my coupons, it's, it was originally like 426 450 but I got it for 250 and a new face wash. So, I did um, repurchase this, so I will repurchase this continuously because it was amazing. And I forgot to mention, as you can see, with the conditioner, I did repurchase it, so I was um, satisfied with my purchase with the, re with the conditioner. And um, when this runs out, or when it's almost about to run out, I will repurchase this as well, I forgot to mention. But, um, I will still repurchase this because this is amazing, and um, even the moisturizer is amazing, but um, I am, have been um, using different moisturizers, but be sure to stay tuned for a, um, a skincare routine for the morning and night coming soon. And um, just uh, this is just an amazing face wash, and I will recommend it to anyone that is looking for a, um, a very like gentle face wash, because this is awesome. So, the next one I'm going to share with you guys is <laughs> the, Devil, the Diva Girl Builder Buster. Now, as you can see, <laughs> yesterday I was my wash day and um, I was squeezing this out <laughs> and I had to use this because um, I was just fed up with squeezing it out and it wasn't squeezing out and I didn't have enough for the rest of my head. But I received it as a gift from my friend Dana and um, this is an amazing um, clarifying shampoo. Like It's very gentle and it's the um, Build A Buster um, Micellar Water Cleansing Serum and this is by Diva Curl. And this is, this the description says, if your hair has, um, has if your hair has lost its major, it's, oh my god, I can't read this. If your hair has lost its major due to build up from products, hard water, or environmental stressors, this re rejuvenating cleansing serum will bring back all curl types back to life, which is true because this is, uh, this is amazing. And you just use it every week, and I am in the middle of looking for a cheaper, um, a, a cheaper clarifying treatment because as you know um, this is expensive this is like I'll put this the price on the screen um, around here right here and this is expensive I think it's like $32 and I'm not spending $32 for a shampoo that I have to use every single week and that's just expensive but luckily I received it as a gift so I will not be repurchasing it even though it is amazing but um, I will be on the lookout for a new clarifying treatment and if you guys have any suggestions be sure to comment down below. And I forgot to mention <laughs> this face wash that I, uh, I mentioned earlier. It says our moisturizing facial wash is carefully blended with our purest possible skin loving ingredients and multivitamins and moisturizes while cleansing. Impurities and washed Impurities are washed away without leaving your skin feeling dry or tight, which is true. Skin is left so thoroughly cleansed and moisturized and will thank you every day. And it has no parabens, dermatologists tested, no artificial perfumes or dyes, no harsh chemicals that can upset your skin, and skin loving ingredients with multivitamins. So, got to mention that, as you can see I'm doing these kind of videos. And, um, so I will not be approaching this, sadly, but it is an amazing, um, cleansing, uh, cleansing shampoo that um, I will recommend actually if you're um, willing to spend that much money because it is awesome it's like it's the most like it's the most 
different and unique kind of um, shampoo that I've ever tried. And it actually suds up if you use um, a lot of it. <laughs> and the next thing I'm going to share with you is the Jamaican Mango and Lime Pure Jamaican Black Castor Oil. And this is the original one. And this promises to help strengthen hair, replenish it, rejuvenate, nourishes, and has natural ingredients. And I'm going to read the, the, um, the description. Oh, Jamaican Mango and Lime Jamaican Black Castor Oil. I try to say that 10 times fast. <laughs> Our powerful all-purpose soothing oils roasted and ground manually from Jamaican castor beans then oil to produce 100% pure castor oil. These pure and unrefined oils retain their nutritive properties making, their great, making them great for skin softening, moisturizing massage oils or hot oil treatments for dry damaged hair. And this is the one I used before. Okay, so this is the one that I've used before, and um, it has a very weird scent, um, which is why I purchased the um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil um, with coconut oil um, from Jamaican Mango and Lime, and um, to because this is this ran out, and I use this oil to um, I use this oil when I deep conditioning sometimes, I massage my scalp with it, and then I put it on my lashes every single night along with my, um, around here, my eyebrows, and um, this just helps grow hair, and I, I was using it on my skin before, but that did not help my skin, <laughs> and that actually worsened my skin, but I'm not going to mention that because I don't mind this oil at all, I love this oil, but I just don't use it on my skin, I just use it on my hair, and that's all. But I purchased the Jamaican Mango and Lime Black Cast Oil Coconut, and this has a very, like, hold on. It has, like, a, I can't explain the scent, but it just smells awesome, and I like it better than the original one, so I will not be purchasing the original one, but I will repurchase the coconut one. As you can see, this is what it looks like. And this helps nourish, help prevent breakage, add shine, sheen, and moisture, and natural ingredients, and you can use this in aromatherapy. The only difference I see is um, the original one says it, um, it helps strengthen hair, but the other one does not say that. It just says help prevent breakage. And then the, um, they both say, no wait, no. They, the coconut one does not say that it replenishes. Um, it does not say it rejuvenates, and the, um, the coconut one does say it nourishes, and they both say they have natural ingredients. So, in case you're wondering, those were the differences between the two. And the scent is another difference because the, the red original one t um, smells terrible, but the coconut one smells really good. So, um, I will, will recommend both the oils, but if you want a nice smelling oil, I will recommend the one with coconut over the original one. And the next one I have, let's see, the next thing, um, empty I have is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Cast Oil, a strengthening, grow, and restorative, wait, no, restore treatment mask. And this is with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Keratin, and it is for a natural, chemically processed color change or heat style thing. So, this is what it looks like, and it's like empty, <laughs> and it smells really good. The, I see a lot of people say, I like, I really bash this line with the scent, but I really, my mom and I really love the scent, and it just, it smells amazing, I don't know why people hate this, and let's see, so it has no sulfates, no parabens, no fats, fifth I can't pronounce that, no paraffin, no propylene, glycol, no mineral oil, no synthetic fragrance, no synthetic color, no DEA, and no animal testing. So those are the things to look out when you're looking for natural hair products. So this is a good deep conditioner. And I'm going to read the description. This deep conditioning mask restores strength and um, resilience to damaged, brittle, or chemically processed hair. I don't have any of those things damaged, chemically processed, um, or brittle hair. The only chemicals I use my hair is dye, as you can see, but my hair is healthy for dye hair. So, um, what else? 
It is perfect for those who regularly color, straighten, perm, or heat style their hair, as well as kinky, curly, or wavy natural hair styles, as you can see. Just set it tight by my hair. And formulated with nutrient rich Jamaican black castor oil and certified organic shea butter to replenish moisture and soften while strengthening hair. Helps promote growth by supporting um, by supporting hair's elasticity, reducing the appearance of breakage and shedding. Peppermint stimulates the scalp for an invigorating experience, um, leaves hair soft, manageable, and shiny, which I definitely will say that it does leave my hair soft, shiny, um, and moisturized. And I will repurchase this. I actually have coupons for Shea Moisture. I always get coupons for Shea Moisture, so um, I will repurchase this because it is an amazing deep conditioner. And it's it's cheap. I think uh, I'll put the screen the um, the price on the screen above. And um, it's pretty cheap. I think it's like fourteen, thirteen dollars. Depends on if you use coupons, if it's on sale, if someone opened it or something in the store and they have it on like the clearance rack. Just be sure to look out for sales for those. But this is a pretty um, this is a pretty affordable deep conditioner. So I think this is the final thing. This is the Simple Nourishing 24 Hour Day Night Cream, kind of skin, simple and simple. This is what it looks like. If you heard the notification, I'm sorry, I forgot to turn my notifications off. And um, uh, the description is says, it's for deep and long lasting nourishment that keeps your skin, oh, that your skin has been craving. Our non-greasy nourishing 24 hour day night cream is used with our purest possible skin loving ingredients and multivitamins, nourishes thirsty skin and carries on working for up to 24 hours, leaving you with super soft and super smooth skin. So, this is, <laughs> this is completely empty, like none left behind. I used all of it. This was so, if I, like, when I tell you that this was the hardest moisturizer I looked for. This is the hardest to find moisturizer. Like I even looked at the reviews and everyone says that this is so hard to find. I found this at Walgreens and it was on um it was on um the uh what's it called? It was like the um it was like a lower price and it was um it was on clearance and I think they discontinued it in Walgreens. I don't know if they still make this or not, but I just know that it's a good moisturizer. I use this day and night, as it says, and um, it was amazing. Honestly, I liked it, and it's too simple as well. It's too simple. This I have a lot of simple products, but yeah, that is all of it. And um, I will repurchase it if I see it, but um, as of now, honestly, I will not repurchase it. I like the moisturizer, but. I have a moisturizer already, I have a day and a night cream, um, which is by a different brand, but I still like it. And um, if that runs out may and I find this, I'll repurchase it. I didn't have any problems with this. So and my hair my um, my hair, <laughs> my face did not react to it badly. So I give it two thumbs up. And I do recommend this product actually. All the simple line products as I've known um, and used are really good. So, um, this is all that I have to share with you guys. There was a lot of products to go through, but, um, it was fun to do with that I can throw all these products away. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and comment below what your favorite deep conditioner is. And, um, remember to subscribe if you liked this content today. And remember to wear your crown, not a frown, and I love you guys. Bye!